I got into music through um, parents. Uh, there was always a lot of music in the house, um, from the Beatles and the Kinks to Elvis to Purcell to Puccini. It kind of absorbed it in, and it's never really well. It's never gone away. You know? So I can't imagine a world without music. I've got just the basic um, 50 watt head. I love the the, the power um, thing where you can sort of decrease and increase power. I love that. You've got effects loops and all that type of thing on there, but I just go straight in the front. One clean, one dirty. Telecaster, blend it together. Um, for me, the Black Stars have just got um, clarity and punch and power, and it doesn't matter really how you, you what situation you're using them in, how big the club is, or, or the arena, or wherever. It's suitable for everything. My mother would like me would like everybody to think that I was going to be an ornith ornithologist because I do like feathered birds. I know you know again I look like a tattooed murderer's block, but um, I do like to be out in the field with a pair of binoculars. My father was a histologist. Thing I, I, I do have a uh, a memory of wanting to follow him, but then uh, when I was 13, I got an elect first electric guitar. So ever since I left school when I was 16. I've played in one band or another, uh, and when I was 19, I kind of joined a professional band, albeit as a bass player, and uh, went to America. I've always wanted to do this. I can't actually physically remember ever wanting to do anything else apart from being a musician. The main reason I switched to Black Star was that, um, first and foremost, it's a British manufacturer. Apart from the amps being great and, um, you know, very solid and dependable, roadworthy, that was probably the major factor in changing the black style. Um, as soon as I heard the amps, I just knew yeah, the, the, the got what, I, what we need and what I need. So. If somebody was starting out and asking me, asked me for advice, I think I would probably say to get the best instrument possible to start with. It basically, if a guitar is difficult to play, it's hard enough to master it and learn how to, how to remember everything in the first place. I would say just get the best instrument you can so that it's as easy as possible to fret. Good guitar, keep it in tune, play it as much as you can. To be honest with you, I wouldn't say that I've got a particular regime or, or thing for warming up. We used to drink rum and black currant. The rum will open you and the black currant will coat your throat. This is what I've been told. And of course, the other thing is, of course, that if you drink enough of them, you don't care whether you sound very good or not, you know. Uh, the future, um, okay. Uh, the old cliche, keep on keeping on. You know, we're of a certain vintage, you know, I mean, a couple of the guys in the band are in the mid late 60s now, and, and you talk to them and they're 21 in their heads and will not stop, you know, because we still enjoy it. We still feel we've got plenty to say, and um, people still like to come and hear us saying those things, doing those things, so just keep going, simple as. <laughs>